Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all do tune in because I don't ever get any views on my video, but you got to start from somewhere, don't you? Mm. It's beautiful out here in Georgia today. I'm at a park eating my lunch. Oh, ants are everyone. I hope I don't get bit. I love the wilderness, but I don't like getting bit and jump. Let me make sure. All right. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> Let me stay focused. So, I'm at a park eating my lunch. Isn't it funny how when you're trying to do stuff for God, you get interrupted? No one ever calls me until I'm doing a video, and I don't rarely do videos, so that's funny. Like, literally at the time of my video. I'm sorry if I seem distracted. I'm in their hood, which is the ants, and I'm killing them. That's horrible. I'm in their city. But I'm just coming to just talk to y'all, man. I just vibe with you, not major. God is good still all the time. Ah. Mm. I'm wearing all black and the ants are black, so I don't know if I'm getting bit or not. I ain't gonna see them little things on me. Oh Lord, who's gonna let me get bit? There are ants everywhere, y'all. Let me switch it up. I don't see no ants on this side. Uh, two minutes and 30 seconds of talking about nothing. But this is just me, man. It's me. The thing about it is just be yourself. Who cares what people gonna think? I don't care what no one's gonna think anymore. Like, if people don't like what I'm gonna do, as long as I'm not offended, ah, anybody, do you I've been reading this um, book called Girls Stop Apologizing it's by Rachel Hollis and it just really opened my eyes on the fact that we care too much about what other people think be yourself, be confident don't dim your light to because someone else might get offended. It's not about that. This is your life. You have to live it. Don't worry about what these folks going to think. They're going to think what they want to think anyway. And then sometimes they might not think nothing. And we're too busy thinking that they're going to think something. Y'all got to watch my surroundings. I'm sorry. I'm going to play that game. There's just too much going on. And I don't like my back turned. So, you know, if someone can walk up, I guess I'll see them in the camera if they do. Ah, ants on me. But, anyway. Don't worry about what people think. Don't live your life based on what someone, that, what someone else might think or feel. Don't do it. You're robbing yourself of life. You're robbing yourself. Y'all want to know what I'm eating? I'm eating a salad. I have... Uh, Y'all, I'm looking everywhere. I have tomatoes. I have lettuce. I have olives. I have cucumbers. Carrots. Onions. All the vegetables I could squeeze in it in a little amount of time. What was funny, I was going to eat unhealthy, but I work out this morning at 5 a.m. And I was like, I'm about to throw it all away over a good old egg roll. Well, a spring roll. It was still fried and it wouldn't have been no good for me. So I had to get it right and get it tight. But you really got to live life to the fullest. 
I wasn't gonna wear a shirt today because I thought some people might have been offended. Not nothing crazy, but like, let's just be honest. It was a boot camp shirt. And I did not go to, I didn't participate in like this thing called Rugged Maniac, but I did buy a shirt. So I felt like, man, I shouldn't wear the shirt because I didn't participate in, in my mind, like, what are they going to think? I didn't participate and I'm wearing the shirt, blah, blah, blah. I just wore it because who cares what people think? Yeah, I bought the shirt. I'm going to wear it. it. It doesn't, ah, it doesn't matter. What the heck just landed? I hope I ain't about to eat no bug. This is just too much. See, that's why I really don't eat outside. I'm just doing this because one of my co-workers were like, was like, oh, just go over there. My husband is filming a movie at our house. He He's a faith-based producer. <clears throat> he's a director. He writes and he produces his own film. Well, today, they're at our house for a scene. And I'm a neat freak, so I can't even see all what they're doing. All the shoes, the cups, just everything everywhere. I don't wear shoes in my house, so I don't even want to see if people have shoes in the house. It, it'll just give me, like, anxiety seeing it. Yeah, I hope I ain't eating no butt. But, yeah. So, my co-worker was like, oh, go to this park and eat. And if anyone knows me, they know I don't eat outside. Like, I don't. So now I'm all, like, paranoid looking around. Like, what the crap? And I'm killing bugs. And it's sad because they're in their own environment. Like, and I came to their hood and I'm up there mad at them. That's, that's, I'm a hater. I'm a hater to the bugs. And that's horrible. I feel sad, but I can't get back. It's like little bitty ants. But anyway, y'all. Even me ranting, even me staying off topic, it's me. This is me. I don't be on topic all the time. I mean, it's just, you got to just be yourself. And that's what my YouTube channel is. Just be yourself. Don't try to follow the mold of everybody else. Don't. You can't do it. God made me like I am, man. Like, and I'm not apologizing for it. Like she said, the title of the book is Girl Stop Apologizing. I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that. I don't. No more apologies. I don't like being out here. Eating in nature. Why? Because it's just not me. But I'm doing it. Just to do something different and get out my comfort zone. Oh, and they have grapes in here. Ah! This is too much, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. How do people do barbecues? My people that do barbecues, no, I don't. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't eat outside. I don't. This is just out of my comfort zone. And I am not opposed to getting out your comfort zone and doing stuff you don't want to do. As you can see, I'm out here eating. So, just want to let y'all know. No fly. Why do flies start coming? What the world? Like, they wouldn't even came if I wasn't over here. But yeah, just be yourself in love too you know don't be disrespecting people like i'm just being myself no that's not that's not what i'm saying now b comes mm -mm -mm. this nature just don't want me to be great today i'm not gonna be great you know so, I'm just relaxing, trying to anyway. Being myself. I'm just being myself, man. I'm sorry, I'm about to be itching and everything. Cause we real when you get in this wilderness. Lord Jesus, no. You got junk coming out the woodwork. 
when I was walking up here, a squirrel came out and scared the crap out of me. Which is too much. But it's real. This is real. It's just real, man. This is real life. Every day, you're learning, you're growing, you're becoming a new you. Even in the Bible, it tells you don't even worry about tomorrow because tomorrow has its worries, its own worries, its own obstacles, its own triumphs. Just worry about today and try to live today to the fullest. Love people, grow. Try to be better and better each day. And just try not to try to be like someone else. It's tempting. I've been on Facebook for over a year now. And recently, I logged back in for a couple minutes. It is not worth it. Facebook will have you wishing you were like someone else. Not even knowing what they got going on. Because they might just be showing you the good. It has you judging people. Because some people just doing some stupid stuff and you think you better because you're not doing it. And you start mentally judging them. When we all have different idiosyncrasies that we deal with daily. I just don't like the person that Facebook makes me when I log on to it. Now, if you're making money off of Facebook, that's something different. But sometimes it can be a big waste of time. You look at other folks' life when you ain't even trying to make your life, you know, better. So, I don't know. If it's lucrative, stay on. If you can realize it's a real way to time log, oh, set yourself free. Cause that's like holding yourself hostage sometimes. That's how I felt when I logged on. It was like I was holding myself hostage. They hold you hostage, and you can't just scroll like lay say eat just one chip. You can't just put spend just one second on there. You got to devote some minutes because or hours or days to look at everybody's business there's too much YouTube can be too much too sometimes it can be lucrative but it can also be a waste of time for the people that oh, I hope I'm not getting bit up um, that's not making money from it that doesn't have a YouTube account with plenty of followers or viewers or likes and all that junk but I like YouTube. I am going to start fasting from it though. As far as me wasting time just sitting oh, on it looking at videos. Aunt's calling it Malia. This is so much. Lord. My husband ain't even going to believe that I'm out here eating outside. He just called a second ago. I know he don't even believe I'm outside. He said, what are you doing? Outside. He was like, outside the house? I'm like, no, outside eating. <laughs> I'm like, he was like, the heck wrong with you? But he knows. I'm not about to come to that house and see over 20 some people at the house. Big cameras. It's no... One thing about me... When my husband's working, I ain't the type that want to be all up in his space. I ain't the type that got to show up and show my face. Sometimes I will if the Holy Ghost tells me to. Or I can peep out the scene. And, you know, just feel the vibe, see the people. And just see what's popping. But just to go and be nosing. Heck no. I'm a wise woman. I have stuff of my own I need to be doing. I can't be chasing down my husband. 
people probably don't even be thinking I care because I'm not all up his butt. I know they might be like, where your wife at? Mind on her business, leaving it, but everybody else is alone. That's where she at. Just trying to stay out the way. Trying to stay out of people's mouth. And just not even letting nobody know my business. I've been noticing lately, man. You tell people some happy stuff that happened. Not trying to brag, but just trying to, you know, just tell people something good that happened to you. Folks don't be, they don't really be happy, man. I don't like fake love. That's why I, I got off Facebook. It's too much fakeness. It's just too fake. Must be commenting like, y'all so cool. It's just too much. But, I don't know. This is too much, y'all. Lord, Jesus. I be feeling like they about to eat me alive <laughs> at the end of the video. I'm going to be seeing him bones. They going to be in the suck to all my dog on meat and my dog on blood out. And I'm going to be just sitting here as a bony skeleton like YouTube. Like, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. But I just get on YouTube, back it up to share knowledge. Just to share my heart. Because your girl done been through a lot. I've been delivered through a lot. I've been delivered out of a lot of stuff. Stuff that I still to this day can't even too much tell nobody. Because it ain't their business. And you got to tell me who to tell. So. I thought that was my husband calling up. Because I told him where I was at. I'm going to say, okay then. Pull up. Pull up game strong, baby. Yeah, you know. He's too, he too busy. But that would have been cool if he would have. Because I messed with him the long way. <sighs> this food is so good. Like, the thing about eating refreshing stuff on break before, you, like, while you're at work. Is that you don't feel so weighed down. If I would have ate the egg rolls, yes, they would have been good for the second, for that moment. But I would have been weighed down. I would, I would have been like tired and sleepy when I went back to work, feeling like I couldn't even do nothing else. And the thing about it too, eh, is that I have um, a Zumba class directly after work. That's two hours. She does one class and then another class, and I. I'll tell both of them. Because if you're going to work out, you might well work out. So, I go to boot camp at 5 a.m. And then I go to Zumba from 5.30 to 7.30. In the evenings, only on Wednesdays. I do, like, the double class. Only on Wednesdays. See? I'm out here hearing footsteps. I don't know if it's a... Something trying to dog on. Attack me. That's the thing about being in the wilderness. You just don't know. Y'all, I'm about to have to go. I'm about to have to go. Woo! This is rough. Lord, help us. What's funny, I had a little bit of black beans in this bowl earlier for my like snack. Because after I work out in the morning, it gives me such a ravenous appetite that I have to eat something. So. I had like a couple spoons of black beans earlier in the same bowl, washed it out. I did a teen program yesterday that involved these ingredients and I just made a salad out of it. It had more ingredients, but oh Lord. Uh, they doubling up on me, y'all. I just feel like I'm getting bit up. I hope it doesn't fall on me. And the thing about wearing black out here is all these black ants. You can't even tell if you if they on you or not, it was too much. But yeah. Well, thank you for spending time with me today, y'all. Time is valuable. And be yourself. The message of today's video is just be yourself. Today, ugh, I feel like some wet touched me. Okay, let me focus.
a message of today's video is be yourself. Just be yourself. Don't apologize for being yourself. Be yourself. In love. I ain't saying act up. I'm just saying be who you are. And don't worry about what other people are going to say. Don't worry about what other people are going to think. And stop apologizing for being yourself. Live, laugh, love. I gotta go. I'm about to jump in the whip because it's just too much. Ah, all these bugs. Now it's like since they know I'm about to go. They're attacking us. Oh. Give you a little bit of my scenery. A beautiful park. A road. All my junk. Peace out, guys.